Okay, we're back in this BLU furnace. I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off here. It's a burner cover. The burners in this thing are kind of goofballs. And uh, I'm going to show you what they look like. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell in the... Uh, Yeah, that's pretty much what they look like there and you'll see them better when I fire it up. Okay here are the hot surface igniters on. Burner should come on in a sec. Okay there they go. That's pretty much what they look like. Uh, just kind of spreads out there from them. Uh, the sparkles are just uh, crap that's been in the furnace. Okay, I want you to notice here when these light off, you can see those uh, flame spreaders, that's the V things, uh, they spread more flame, I think, than the burners do. You can see the flame spreaders are uh, they're pushing a bunch of flame towards the outside. It caused a lot of rust on the front panels of these things. Okay, that's the burner on this BLU. Uh, right there was where the orifice put gas in, your small venturi right there and then the uh, flame came out right in there and the v-shaped thing is a flame spreader which seemed like about half a flame on them stupid flame spreaders. Uh, I'm not sure how they come up with this idea for a burner but that's what they came up with uh, like I said, this furnace was only made, I think, about five years. Uh, it wasn't much of a furnace. Okay, here we're looking at the the burners on the uh, BLU, and hot surface igniter here. What's interesting here is this uh, flame rod assembly. When these first came out, if I'm correct, they did not have a flame rod. They used the hot surface igniter to detect flame, which was notably unsuccessful. And so they put a different type of flame rod in here. I'm going to pull these burners out and we'll take a look. Okay, you can see that flame rod in there, right there. It's got a ground and a flame rod right next to each other because they had problems with grounding in this thing. I'll pull that out and we'll take a look. Okay, there's that flame rod and ground rod. You can see the bottom rod down here. That's the uh, ground because it hooks to the body of this. And then this is a flame rod. This is what they come up with when... Uh, when they couldn't get the uh, hot surface igniter to prove flame well. Uh, looks like this one somebody tried to clean. Uh, and I, I don't know why the furnace was taken out. Uh, probably just because it's a pretty ugly old furnace. Uh, anyway, that's how that flame rod was set up and uh, clean it like any other flame rod.